Alright, I'm gonna try the same approach as fast as possible, as slow as necessary. Oh, that wasn't good. I wonder what that was. Oh my, Andre, that wasn't good. It was not good at all. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly what happened to our brand new Toyota Tacoma and what led up to it. But before we do that, Andre, how long have we had the taco? Well, we bought it and we went down to Houston, Texas to pick it up almost exactly a month ago on February 2nd, 2024. And what do we do after that? Well, we did a lot. We put on a ton of miles, dude. This truck has 3,604 miles at this moment in almost under a month. And as you guys know, we buy about five or six vehicles every year uh, to test. And the reason we do that is because we want to have our skin in the game. And this time our skin is certainly in the game. So uh, shall we? Yes. Yes, but we did a lot of stuff before this happened. Even we told with it on the I gauntlet. You took it to Moab, off-roaded it everywhere and now we're here yeah and i gotta say i fell in love with the truck uh, it's so much better than the old one but let's uh head into the woods and show you the video that we did comparing it to your chevy colorado hey andre today we have a nose to nose comparison of two brand new off-roady mid-sized trucks what are you driving i'm driving the new chevy colorado this is a trail boss and I'm driving the brand new Toyota Tacoma. And this, of course, as you can tell, is the TRD off-road. Yes, they both have turbocharged engines. They both have four low and we have fresh snow on the ground. So let's find out which of these two trucks is the better off-roader. How about price-wise? How do they compete? Well, they're between about forty dollars to $45,000. So they're direct competitors. All right, well, let's take it. Let's take it up ironclads and see which of these two does better. Our four-wheel drive systems are actually a bit different. I have four-wheel drive auto, Roman doesn't. I have four high and four low. I'm going to shift it into neutral. I'm going to go four low and it's pretty easy to do. And the automatic four-wheel drive system, the transfer case uses clutches and it's pretty nice on highways that are both mixed wet or snowy or dry. Um, but Roman's Toyota may have a little bit more, maybe tougher and more durable transfer case. I guess we'll have to find out after owning these trucks for a while. And I do have modes. I have off-road mode and terrain mode right there. I'm going to be using one, a little bit of both. And also I have a very cool page. I don't know if Roman has this page, but I have several pages that show me angles, my current tire pressures, um, the elevation we're at, and my compass. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Just like Andre's Colorado, I have four low, which I have already selected, but this is where the Tacoma really shines because I also have this little button, which is multi-terrain select. So let me show you. When I push it, not only do I have an auto mode, but I can also select sand mud or rock and then unlike the colorado's kind of self-locking g80 i have a rear locker that's electronic that i can select by pushing this button which allows me to and you can see it right there lock it with like i said the push of a button and i can also use this dial right here with crawl control so i can actually control the speed of the truck Let's call it off-road cruise control. And not only does Andre not have off-road cruise control, as far as I recall, sorry, Andre, you don't even have regular cruise control. So I'm hoping that all this off-road goodness will help me uh, beat the uh, Colorado up to the top of the uh, ironclads. And our Tacoma video series would not be possible without our friend Scott O'Sullivan and O'Sullivan Law Firm. Use the link and the phone number in the description below if you're ever in trouble, you can call Scott first, no matter where you are. He's been a friend of the show and he's a great attorney. So check out a Sullivan Law Firm. All right, dude. So how about I lead? My truck is a little bit older than yours. And I put it in four low 
And uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I think as the returning champ, you should first tackle the steps, then the razor rocks, and then of course truth or dare, and then I'll try to do the same thing and see how the two compare. Now, um, how's your heated seat and your, and your heated uh, steering wheel? Because you know, today with the snowstorm, those are nice features to have. Yeah, um, I don't have heated seats or heated steering wheel. My truck is pretty simple, and that's why it's a little bit more affordable. We'll talk about pricing later, uh, but I do have. You know, my G80 should help me. I have a, not selectable locker, but a mechanical one. Yeah, this idea of everything you need, nothing you don't sounds good until you're uh, snow wheeling. Yeah. And you're already stuck. Uh, come on, G80, you could do it. Okay, I'm backing up. I'm gonna try a little bit of speed. In other words, the Nathan method. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah, how about this? Work, Andre. Whoa, yes! Okay, okay. I don't know if I can do razor rocks. This is crazy. Okay, let me uh, let me come up there uh, and see how I do, and then we'll take on the razor rocks. Okay? Yeah, dude, that's really icy. There's a lot of ice underneath the snow. These two trucks are remarkably the same in most aspects, except for maybe where it matters, and that is in the tire. The Tacoma's got VF Goodrich trail terrains, and they're about 31 inches, maybe 31 and a half inches, which means they're a little bit smaller than Andre's tires. What are yours, Andre? I've got these Goodyear Wrangler Territory MTs. I specifically selected them. They were optional, and they cost me about $500 when I ordered the truck overall to buy them brand new um, and it's actually a 32 inch tall tire so about half an inch more than yours and it's a little bit wider too and it's mounted on an 18 inch wheel your wheels are 17s um, so they have similar sidewall but I don't know about tread I also have these Toyota Predator steps that came with the truck and they may be a liability when we go up the razor rocks so I may be taking them off the old-fashioned way and that is tearing them off when we go up the trail. Zero, and my engine has a cover on top. It's pretty sexy. Yes, that's true, Andre, but blueberry is blueberry colored, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, but yours is kind of urine yellow. No, it's nitro yellow. It's called nitro. Uh, yeah, you go with that. Nitro. <laughs> Not urine yellow. Under the hood of the Chevy is a 2.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder and it's high output. 310 horsepower and 430 lots of torques. Lots of pound feet. Well, Toyota stuffed the venerable 4.7 liter V8 under the hood of the Coma. Andre. What? Yes. Uh -huh. No. The venerable 4. All right, that's a 2.4 liter turbo and it produces under 300 horsepower and it sounds. Well, it they, sounds, sounds they like, both sound about the same, actually. Yeah, they sound like a clock. They kind of tick. <laughs> or better yet, a diesel. That's right, it's diesel clatter. Yes. Venerable 2.4 liter turbo, Andre. Venerable. Low end torque, though. Yes. Low end torque. Low end torque. All right, I'm going to try the same approach, just nice and easy. Fast as possible, as slow as necessary. Something like that. Oh, and I slid down already. What about crawl system? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You're way ahead of me. It's, it's That's the crawl system right there. Well, I can see all of you moving, dude, but you need a little bump. The crawl system seems to be getting me backwards. All right, I'm gonna stop that. I turn the uh, crawl uh, control off. I'm gonna do a little bit of a bump.
hell is that? Oh, that wasn't good. I wonder what that was. I heard a pop, dude. I heard a pop too. Maybe I lost uh, front wheel drive. Hold on, don't move. Hold on. Yeah, did something, did something blow? Oh, I need to check it out. Oh, let me look, there's nothing visible yet. Hold on. There's no fluid or anything visible, so. All right, let me do this. Let, tell me if the front wheels are turning. Okay. No. Hold on a sec. No, no. You think I lost? You think I lost two-wheel drive? Ah, uh, that's not good. Can you back up? Careful, slowly. Go slowly. You need to turn a little bit more. No front-wheel drive, huh? No front wheel drive. Hang on, go slowly. Stop. There's a tree, two trees behind you. Ah, oh, great. Okay. We need to think about it for a second, Roman. Because you're in a precarious position. I could probably go this way. And back up that way. But it's kind of it's kind of narrow here, Roman. You have to use precision. Yeah, you're gonna have to show me. You're gonna have to help me. So dude, something popped. You think I, lo I lost front wheel drive? I but think. there's no liquid, there's no oil, there's nothing leaking. There's nothing hanging. There's nothing looks broken. Huh. Drive shaft looks like it's still attached. Yes. Hmm. Well, well, how about this? Hmm. Wait, how about try to go to two wheel drive? Okay. Right now in neutral yeah. and try to switch it back into four-wheel drive. Maybe it will re-engage itself Let's try to select it again Okay, oh it went to two. I put it in two. Oh All right, you're neutral Okay, I'm gonna select four high It hasn't even come out of it Okay, just wait for it to blink. It's blinking it's blinking four high. Let me see. Yeah, copy. Yeah, this is bullseye. You guys gonna be heading back down the boulder or you wanna stick around and wait? We may need their help. We may need some help. We just lost a four-wheel drive in the Tacoma. We are on our way and we just lost it very hard. Alright, let me go uh is it, is so it, remember in the Toyota you can um, you have to um, you cannot go directly from four low to two high, it must engage four high. Yes, yeah, so it's blinking four high right now, and it's not getting in there. It's not, it's not engaging it. So remember when you were in four low and you flipped it to two high, you skipped the step. Am I going to hit that tree if I keep backing up? Uh, yeah, probably. You think I can make it around or no? I need to hook a line to you. You think I can make the turn, no? Go forward! It, it won't go forward, Andre. Is, are the front wheels spinning? No. You sure? Try. No. Hold on. I, I think they're spinning. They are? Yeah, look. Look on this side. Try again. <laughs> hmm. Ah! 
Oh, shoot. Are you okay? I just fell. You okay? Yeah. Uh. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, uh, Roman, there's a problem. Are you okay? Yeah. What? Well, that's it's it's right. If you drive on this, you're gonna roll directly into those trees. Ow. You okay? Did you hurt yourself? Yeah, I'm okay. You okay? I'm okay. This has become quite the TFL misadventure. Okay. Ow. That's why I hate snow wheeling, Andre. I, well, it's it's unpredictable. Uh, so what we could do, okay, what we could do is we we, we can hook up, pull me forward, yes. uh, and then um, we can maybe straighten it out so I can back it up. Yes. All right, let's try that. Okay, just gonna put a camera on Roman. So uh, when we go wheeling, we always carry a recovery kit, which includes, you know, a rope, and then of course a way to attach the rope to the truck. So let me see if he's gonna pull me this way. Do I want to put it on the left one or on the right one? The left one's gonna pull me left. I think I want to go on the left one. So attach it over here. <sighs> The nice thing is, uh, it's always great to go wheeling with a buddy because I can't go backwards, obviously, because I got those huge trees. Andre, what are you doing, dude? Oh, are you okay? Yeah, no, no, I, I had a toe point. Hold on. Don't you have a recovery hook in the back? You have a hitch, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm coming. <sighs> Okay. I have to be very careful because what if I slide into Roman? And if I slide into him then... Then it's gonna be bad. Huh. Okay, yeah, keep coming, keep coming. Andre, keep co oh, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay. That's good. <sighs> this is a this is a bummer. I don't think we have ever experienced this in the winter on this trail. And we've been using this trail for about eight years. Uh, reviewing vehicles and trucks and SUVs. It's a great time to have two wheel drive, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we lost. What, what happened? happened? Four wheel drive on the Tacoma. Did it pop or make yeah, a noise? Or? Dang. It banged? Yeah, that was it. That was it. So, not a software glitch, I guess. Not a software glitch. Woo! Be careful, it's all ice. Yeah, all right, Andre. Right hey, Nathan, coming up here. Yeah, so you can see the precarious position I'm in. All right, I can't go back. And I can't go forward. So, let's, let's hope Andre can drag me up a little farther so I can make... So you can rear, put your rear end heading that way. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to down the hill. It's a good Nathan and Alex are also here. Another you... TFL misadventure. Well, no, this is important stuff, right? This makes the video better. Yeah. Did you call it an X-Trail yet? No, but you should. Okay. Is it is it an X-Trail or a Trail Hunter, the two-wheel drive? Because <laughs> that's a good joke. No, it's called the X-Runner. X-Runner. We now have the X-Runner. Get, get out of the way, yeah.
And I'm locking the rear diff, at least I can do that. And hopefully the lock, so I get at least two wheel drive. All right, Andre, go for it. Hold on, I'm slipping. Okay, stop, stop, stop. That's good. That's good. I should be able to make the turn now. Actually, actually, let's stay hooked up. So then if it starts getting backwards into the tree, it'll be a pivot point for me. So hold up, don't go anywhere, okay? Uh, kind of watch me as I make this turn. Okay, uh, uh, I'll be your pivot. A little behind the scenes for you guys. We're up here off-roading the new Tacoma and four-wheel drive made a big pop. So we're up in the snow in a two-wheel drive Tacoma now. Andre has his Colorado hooked up to a tow rope. We're just trying to get the rear end swung around enough so we can back it down in two-wheel drive without hitting this tree. Am I gonna make the turn, guys? It's gonna be close. This is just pure ice under all this. Keep it cranked hard. Uh, goose it forward a little bit so you slide. So your whole end slides. Yeah, it's not sliding. Let me keep going. Let me pull you up a little more. Okay, pull me up. Okay, stop. Even Andre is struggling to get traction. We're pretty deep into the mountains right now. Full video will be on TFL Off-Road very soon, so stay tuned and check out alltfl.com. Am I gonna make this? Am, somebody, somebody tell me, am I gonna make this turn? I think so. Okay, keep coming back, Andre. Andre, you gotta keep the slack on. Need to go, go forward, Andre. I'll slide into the tree. No, forward. The other forward. Forward. That's it. Okay. Okay. Back up slowly now. All right. Here comes the tough part. I'm almost by this tree. I don't look. This is scaring me. <laughs> I'm afraid Roman's gonna start sliding and yep, pulling Andre back. Keep going. I don't hook. I would unhook also because I I'm scared. You're just getting dragged. I'm scared about into you now. Alright, go back and we'll unhook. Can you unhook us? Yeah. Okay, watch out for ice. <sighs> that was not comfortable uh, being dragged uh, by another truck down the icy slope. Uh, this is, uh, I mean, it's okay, these trucks belong to us and I'm not worried about a little bit of damage, you know, we have some we have some money to fix it. 
it's just not pleasant. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. Uh, back it up. Is the camera in the back of my tailgate still running? <sighs> All right, well, that was very unexpected. Uh, and, you know, obviously we know what the, what the truck that won this off-road battle is. And it wasn't the Tacoma. And then, you know, of course all the comments are gonna be like, where's that famous Twitter reliability to lose four-wheel drive? Because I wasn't doing anything really crazy, I was just, you know, spinning the front wheels. Keep in mind that our uh, serial number on this truck is number 319, I believe. So it's a very early build. So we are kind of uh, working as beta testers uh, in some ways for, you know, the Tacoma. You know, people always say, don't buy the first year of production. We always buy the first year of production because we want to be first. And we want to let you guys know when things go wrong like this, not only if and when they go wrong, but why they go wrong. So we'll uh, we'll kind of try to fix this by going back into uh, four high and then two high and then back into four high again and see if it resets itself. If not, we'll take it to the dealer and we'll find out what the hell actually broke on it. Slowly does it. I don't want to break traction because as soon as the wheels lock up, I become a sled. Um, and I don't want to become a sled because I'm backing up a narrow trail and I don't want to go forward because it's very icy and we just saw what happened to the Tacoma and I don't want to explode my transfer case also. The lesson here is always have a buddy when you're off-road especially when you're snow wheeling. What are you testing, Andre? Okay, so it thinks you're still in four low. Let me return to four low. I want to see if I can reset it. Can I have a key? Yeah, there you go. Give it a shot. Why don't, okay. you, why don't you roll that red camera? Okay, Roman, so the truck right now still thinks that you're in four low. Right, which I'm not. Um, so... It doesn't reset, I tried Andre. I tried all this. Okay, so remember, Toyota guys taught us, you have to go through four high. Right. You can't skip right. too high, but too far low. Four high. I see the, it. If you get the camera there, you'll see it. Give me the camera and you can you should, you should shoot that. There you go. So it blinks four high. Okay, so we were in four low. Yes. Crawl control. Your, your locker is blinking. Yes, uh, yes, I was using the locker to get as much traction as possible. Okay. As one should. You should, yes. You should use all the tools at your disposal. Okay, now four high. I want to rock it a little. You can go come down on. a little bit. It's not going to come out. Can you, start driving. can you push me? I'm in neutral. No? driving dude it's all downhill still thinks you're in four low yeah it does so how are you gonna go on the highway in four low will it, will it come out of four low I don't know uh, it's not right now great <laughs> at least we're not stuck at least I can get into the highway we can go pick it up with the trailer of course comes to horse Hey, let's do this. Uh, hey, Nathan. Why don't you drive the truck down? Me and Andre are going to keep uh, trying to fix this. So, Andre, here, get the keys to Colorado. Give them Nathan. in the Colorado. Keys to Colorado. So it won't come out of four low now. So, yeah, so we're going to try to drive it a little bit, see if it pops out of four low. So maybe it is a software glitch. It could, goes wrong. Yeah, it could be both, too. You never know. It could be a software glitch. I mean, it could be 
a hardware glitch, but when we did, you know, we had that Ram Rebel, Alex, remember? Mm -hmm. And we were going up uh, Fifth Hanger 2.0, and we were big snap. Uh, but that was the drive shaft snapping. Yeah. Uh, but there was a lot of friction there. I mean, we're in snow. There's, you know, yeah. snow and ice. You could tell we could barely get the thing down. We could barely steer it. Yeah, that was a steep angle. The tires were spinning. You guys tried it over and over and over again. This, that was, this was we just... We were pushing it. Yeah, there was nothing being pushed yeah. here. This is... I've almost fallen on this just walking know, five so, times. So there was so. not a lot of friction between the wheels, so I, I don't feel like we were really pushing it. The uh, Russian mechanic there is working on it. I got it. It's, no. No, you, don't no. Get it. you didn't get it, did you? It's still in four low. Oh, I got it. Uh, the lock door unlocked. Whoa. So well, first, first victory. <laughs> you got it to unlock. This is a start. Yes, we're out of four low. Okay. <laughs> what a man. Yeah. All right, now, now let's see if you can get back into four high. Actually, get it. Get the get the front wheels. Is the front spinning? No. Nope. Four high. It ain't four high. <laughs> it's just okay, Roman. You you can drive home. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's you're in two wheel drive. You're good. I, know, I, I, I knew that. I could have done that myself. But the problem was you're in four low all the time. So now you're not in four low. Yeah, but the front wheels still don't spin. No, you're going downhill most of the way. You'll be fine. Yeah. No reverse. Are the front wheels spinning or reverse? I just did. Just front wheel drive. Two wheel drive Tacoma. Just two wheel drive Tacoma now. Well, we've been wanting to get our hands on a two wheel drive Tacoma yeah. as well. Yeah, we got the X Runner now. Woohoo! It's an X Runner! <laughs> Alright, well, guys, uh, this is why we buy our trucks. Uh, because when stuff like this happens, our skin's in the game. Now, uh, obviously, it's not fixing itself. So I think the only thing we can do is take it to the dealership and uh, have them diagnose it and find out what, what happened. So to be continued, Andre. Didn't we talk this morning in our group meeting that some off-roading may not be covered by certain manufacturers? Oh, great. That's great, Andre. Let's get out on camera. Okay. Yeah. We just did. Oh, yeah. That's what, what? What are you doing, dude? Andre! Do you want to pay for the repair on this? No. <laughs> well, you just, uh, you, just, you just committed yourself I, to that. Uh, are they going to watch this? Yes, of course they're they going to watch. Of course they're going to watch it. Um, but anyway, we'll take it to the dealership. We'll find out what's wrong with you, uh, what's wrong with it. <laughs> we can't take Andre to the dealership. <laughs> but obviously, this this com this, com this comparison was won by the Colorado and not the Tacoma. To be continued. Let's go, let's Colorado. Yes. All right, let's get. Let's go. I'll go first in case. You yeah, can I, that's yeah. yeah please. Okay, I'm going to turn the truck off, which I just did, put it in too high, uh, start it up, put it in neutral, put it back in four high, it's blinking, it says it's locked. No. no I don't think it's electronic, because uh, when I put it in um, four high, the truck says it's in four high, so it thinks it's in four high. So there's definitely something mechanical going on. Obviously that big uh, crack we heard was not uh, an electronic error. That was definitely a mechanical error. Uh, so Andre, here's what I'm thinking. Um, this could have left us seriously stranded because we're lucky in that this trail is all downhill. But imagine if you were someplace where I'd have to go back uphill. Uh, I guess you would have had to have gone uphill in reverse. Yeah, like that's going to work with no weight on the back, huh? I mean, uh, it would have meant that you would have had to drag me out of here, uh, and in snow that would have been quite uh, interesting. Well, that's not a lesson that we've learned, right, over the years, is try to always go with a buddy, at least a person, or hopefully another vehicle with you. Yeah, yeah, but like I said, you know, we're lucky that coming back was all downhill, because if we were doing like red cone which is a one-way uphill uh that would have been an interesting situation yeah well andre that's the story so far but i said something and i was wrong about it at the end of the video i said uh that the colorado won that comparison <laughs> except it didn't because why 
because currently the Chevy Colorado and the GMC Canyon brand new pickup trucks, there is a stop sale on these trucks. You cannot currently buy them as of this filming. So nobody won. No, they both kind of end up losing. Uh, the other thing, obviously, that you're going to say is that it was driver or operator error, and that is, of course, possible. Uh, I will, you know, not uh, not take credit for not breaking it. <laughs> but uh, the biggest takeaway I got from that video was that I don't think it should have broken, Andre, because we weren't on anything with a lot of traction, right? We were just spinning the wheels on rocks that were covered with snow and ice, and that doesn't put a lot of stress on the system. Yeah, and also we've been using Iron Class Trail over the last nine plus years. This is not our first rodeo on this trail. We've taken, I think, every pickup truck or hard off-road SUV on this trail over the last nine years. So this, we know this trail really well. Yeah, and we've never actually done any damage to anything on it before. Uh, well, this type of damage. Yes, this type of damage. Okay, you, you've hit a bumper there before. Uh, I, yeah, oh yeah, the Tundra. I did break that. That was my. That was definitely my fault. Yes. Uh, so what's next, Andre? Uh, we're about to take uh, the Tacoma up to the ranch before we take it to the dealership because what we want to do is put it on our lift and see physically if there's anything we can actually see that broke on it. It was hard to do that on the trail. And then uh, we're going to put it on the rollers uh, and engage four-wheel drive and try to figure out what's actually spinning and what's not. Yeah, which shaft is spinning, if it's a transfer case issue or maybe it's a front differential or a drive shaft issue. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. Yeah, so you, we'll have a better idea of, was it the front pumpkin? Was it the low speed transfer case? Was it, you know, maybe a half shaft? We, we don't know, but I think we can, you know, at least whittle down the options uh, on the rollers. And then we'll uh, take it to the dealer here in Denver area and then have them, the experts, uh, tell us what it is. Yeah, and since this obviously is a truck, uh, that next video is gonna be hopefully soon over at TFL Truck. If you don't wanna miss it, head on over to oldtfl.com for all the news in one place. All right, Andre, uh, I'm bummed because uh, I, I was just on a podcast called Hot Pursuit, Bloomberg's Hot Pursuit, yes. and they asked me what was my favorite truck, and it's the Tacoma because I really fell in love with it. Yeah. And so uh, I really want to get this sorted. I really want to find out what's uh, going on with it, and I really want to get back to testing it and driving it because uh, Toyota did, you know, uh, well, obviously the elephant in the room is that Toyota is known for reliability, and this does not necessarily demonstrate that. But it is an early production truck. What's the serial number again? 319 or 391. I think it's 319. 319. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, this is an early, yeah, early so, truck. So I, I don't want to point any, you know, I, obviously in the comments, you guys are going to say a lot of things that, you know, it might or might not be true. But I don't want to point any fingers because it could be an early pre-production issue. It could be a component that went bad, you know, that uh, was not produced correctly. We don't know any of that. Uh, but we can at least kind of narrow it down to where the problem is. So come back to altfl.com for that video coming soon. Thank you guys.